something new. Super 7. Ultimate. ODB. Let's get it. What is up, my peeps? Big Rock Harmon coming at you again with another review of a figure. I wonder if we classify this as an action figure. It's definitely a figure, though. And you see what it is. Those of you that are not in the know or, you know, you're just too young to know or too old to remember, we have got the immortal O-D-B, Old Dirty, fill in the blank just in case. This is by Super 7 Ultimates that came out with a couple of hip-hop icons who are no longer with us. And we are uh, we're going to check out one of them right here. We have got ODB of Wu Tang Clan fame. You see what we got there on the packaging? It is called the City of Brooklyn Zoo. Signed ODB. You see that going on right there. And uh, what we're going to do? This is the first time I've ever done a Super Seven review. And it's the first time I'm going to open up a Super 7 uh, piece of merchandise. So uh, we're going to uh, be very meticulous about this. You see the uh, photo of ODB and it actually continues up on top there. And you see Ultimates, the logo, Super 7 right down there. Turn to the side, nothing much happening on either side. Turn to the back, you saw when uh, we had the packaging uh, spinning, rotating, you saw what was going on in the back, identification card for food coupons and or public. And you got right there the album title, Return to the 36 Chambers. You guys, uh, those of you that are down, you know what's up with that. The dirty version, it's got his year of birth and of course the name of the artist, ODB. Now... We also have, once again, this is my first time ever uh, messing with a Super 7 product. So I'm going to go slowly with this one. This actually is a sleeve, so I'm going to lift it up so you can see what's going on. Because I'm going to have to uh, leave you guys for a bit as I open this up and explore what's the what. So I'll be able to better give you... Uh, a perspective that will at least partially make sense. We're going to be on this journey together. But you see what we got going on right there with ODB. See if I can uh, zoom in just a little bit. And then, yeah, might be a little bit too dark. So we'll see about lightening that up if it's actually possible. And I don't think I can get it light unless I uh, add some more light to the situation which I'll do right there. That didn't help that much, but you guys can see what's going on. If you can't see it now, you're going to see it momentarily. In the names of Arnold, I'll be back. And here he is in all his glory out of packaging and on our rotating base so you can see what he's looking like during a 60 degree view. Let me let you guys know right off the bat, he's blazing soft goods, the vest, the sleeves, which are, um, that's all they are, are sleeves uh, on um, on that body, but they're soft goods as well. Uh, the trousers, or I should say the shorts, even his headband is soft goods. So, uh, you know, kudos to Super 7 for that. He's got the, uh, the butters on. That's what uh, you call the Tims. Or uh, construction boots if you're not wearing Tims. They're known as Butters. Those of you who uh, are in the know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, pretty excited about this. I am a big Wu-Tang Clan fan of all of their members. Uh, they all, uh, you know, obviously when you think of Wu-Tang Clan, you think of Method Man primarily. And um, I believe ODB would be, I mean, in, most people, if you're going to run them down, ODB would probably come in, uh, you know, come in second. 
uh, in terms of uh, when you start naming them off. Uh, but we have got uh, ODB right here. Maybe one day uh, Super 7 will uh, bless us with uh, some guys that are still with us. You know, Method Man, possibly. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, time will tell. Anyway, we're going to do this a little bit different. I'm going to get... Uh, I'm going to get ODB off the base, right? And then we're going to check him out. Then we'll go over the accessories. And he does have a uh, pretty decent amount of accessories coming with him. So I've got him up close. And uh, I have to make an immediate correction. The sleeves are not soft goods. They are hard as a rock or plastic, I should say. So uh, my apologies on that. But the first thing, of course, we're going to check out is that face and head sculpt. Now, peeping the head sculpt close up. One, it looks crazy. Uh, if you look at the uh, the glasses, you're not. Uh, this is not a, 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 a QC issue. He is missing the right lens in the glasses. That's just typical. That would be old dirty for real. So you can see that right there. You can see right to his eyes. And on that side, the left side, you can see that there's a lens. We've got the uh, the mustache and the uh, the little mini goatee going on. You've got that headband. Like I said, the headband is actual soft goods. Uh, it probably can come off. I wouldn't try it simply because the braids, you know, I don't want to disrupt that. And there, speaking of the braids, there is that braid work going on. So, yeah, pretty cool. He's got the sideburns going on. Yes, indeed. You you go, ODB. And, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the mouth being uh, just slightly open, showing teeth. That was uh, ODB's normal type of, uh, you know, that's that was his that was his expression. Seeing all of him now, I just uh, moved him back a little bit so he'd be fully in the frame again. Like I said, his uh, his vest, or uh, you know, I guess it's a pullover supposed to be, is uh, soft goods. It's like a uh, it's like a vinyl type of uh, of uh, material. Move his arms back, and the same thing with the shorts, soft goods. And it's I I, I swear his pants are supposed to be portrayed as sagging. Looking at where they're hanging right there, you guys tell me. But, uh, yeah, pretty nice denim color blue with some fade going on there. So pretty nice attention to detail. Then looking at the butters, you see how they got, you know, the tongue flipping out a little bit. And, uh, yeah, pretty nice. You even have, they even have treads on the bottom of the feet there. So pretty cool as far as ODB's articulation. His head can only go up about that far. can go down that much. He can 360 it. And you can get some attitude with him. So that's pretty cool. Arms. He can blaze a T-pose. He can. Listen to that squeaking. He can 360 it. He, uh has a single jointed he doesn't have a bicep swivel here single jointed elbows that swivel this is super seven keep that in mind he's got wrist articulation that swivels and it uh, moves horizontally in and out he has inside there underneath the uh, the shirt his waist is on a uh, dumbbell so he can go forward uh, about that much he can go back that much as you can see. He can go side to side and he can rotate hips. He can spread them out about that far and he can kick. He's being impeded by his shirt so he could probably get 90 if he didn't have the shirt on but that's what you're getting right there about uh, 80 degrees and he can go back that much. Knees single jointed and you're going to get some resistance because of the uh, the shorts. They also swivel. The knees do. He's got rotation at the boot. 
and he does have ankle, uh, or rather he can point his toe forward and go up a little bit and he does have ankle pivot and he has holes, peg holes at the bottom of his feet. This is a Super 7 uh, figure, so uh, we're going to take a measurement and it's probably one of the reasons why they called 7 because they specialize in 7 inch figures and true to form, ODB is 7 inches tall. While we go over his accessories, ODB is just going to be back there chilling on the ledge, as you can see, always down to cool out. So uh, first thing we'll do is uh, we'll check out the hands. He comes with three extra pair of hands plus an extra hand. So uh, technically, uh, technically nine hands in all, including the two that he came with out of packaging. So we're going to... Uh, start off checking out the hands like I said and we'll kick it off with the pointing finger you know so you can point at the crowd yes indeed so you got that then we'll go in uh, pairs here there are no particular uh, you know combo you could mix and match obviously so you've got a uh, kind of a closed fist type of hand and then you've got this grasping hand and uh, you probably know at least one of the reasons why he needs a grasping hand we'll check that out momentarily and uh, next up we've got we've got uh, these uh, kind of sort of like hey you know yeah 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 raise them up type hands so you see that he's got that going on a pair of those and finally, we have another, uh, this, this, uh, this particular hand, you see what he's doing, it's like, uh, it's got the uh, index finger and the thumb doing that uh, type of look or uh, some type of sign or whatever. And then, of course, we've got the hand that this will go with uh, the, uh, the pointing hand, I would think. So, yeah, looking nice with the hands. As you no doubt suspected, the grasping hand is for microphone. What would an MC be without his mic? You see it's molded in a black and it's got the silver paint. It even has the texture on the micro, on the, uh, right up there, you know, the top, the, the speaker side of the uh, microphone. Pretty nice. But uh, that's not the only reason why he's got a grasping hand he actually comes with this and I'm wondering if he could uh, actually place the uh, top part of this bottle in that uh, finger and index the index and thumb hand but yeah you see how that uh, you see what we got there clear plastic at the top and then of course we've got the bag there at the bottom for this 40 yes indeed and finally and I may have to do some crazy zoom ups. I said finally, but it's not finally. We have this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to zoom in hard on this one. And try to focus in. Try to focus in for you guys to see it. And see if I can get my th thumb out the way. You can see right there, it is, it is the, uh, this is his uh, ID or the cover of the album, Return to the 36 Chambers. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. The reason I said not really finally is because he comes with this soft goods uh, top here, like a jacket or an over shirt to go over the uh, what he's got going on, the black shirt that he's got going on uh, on on his body. Let's see if I can get this to there we go to. Uh, clear up there so yeah like I said soft goods looks like it may be easy enough to uh, to get him in now I can say finally finally we're going to look at the two additional head scopes that come with ODB and I can tell you they get crazy and crazier so here's crazy right here you can see that look he's got the the gold grills the fronts going on the crazy looking eyes for sure and uh, the braids are still there on point, as you can see. So he's got that. And then here's the other head sculpt. And like I said, it gets crazier. This is the sickness right here. 
This is the sickness right here. That's ODB right there. Look at the, uh, look how he's got the lips curled. Some of those uh, gold fronts peeking out. The left eye bulging while the right eye is kind of squinting. You know, that's that ODB classic expression right there. And then you've got, uh, of course, the uh, the braids. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be posing him with this head sculpt on for sure. Now let's try out some of his accessories. You see we've got him blazing a uh, rooftop concert, if you will. Got the microphone and he's uh, mo mo moving the crowd. And now here he is with the crazy head and uh, the uh, soft goods shirt, long sleeve shirt we'll call it, with a couple of other hands going on there. And here's ODB on the roof with the even crazier head popping bottles. Now it's time for my final thoughts on the Super 7 Ultimate. Old, dirty, buh, ODB. You know how it goes down. Definitely a nice set. Let me talk about some of the things. You know, it's not perfect. Uh, the likeness, I mean, it, uh, it, it, it's passable, but, you know, you don't really, it's not really, uh, you know, it's just not fully ODB, uh, you know, the likeness isn't fully there. It's enough there that you, you know, if you had to guess who it was, you'd probably guess correctly first time. So it's definitely passable, good enough. Um, other, uh, other cons, caveats with this particular figure is the articulation leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, the swiveling elbows and knees, uh, you don't get much out of them, especially when you consider with the knees, the uh, shorts, they come down uh, over the knees. So that impedes utilizing that uh, utilizing that articulation right there. So that's a, that's a bummer. Um, as far as the head sculpts, the head sculpts are banging. The head sculpts are definitely banging uh, about them, though, when you're switching them out. Keep in mind that you're going to have to be very careful because when you're grasping the head to yank it off of the body, which, by the way, the neck is uh, a, a, a dumbbell, um, you're going to be uh, running into those braids. So be very careful that you don't stress the braids out. Uh, or uh, I don't think you could snap them there. Uh, I don't want to say rubbery, but they give. But they, you know, they are a, a softer plastic, so you might, uh, you may mess them up. So be very, 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 very careful uh, with that. Comes with um, some crazy accessories, you know, all kinds of hands. I showcased most of them. Uh, we've got the, uh, you see he's blazing his ID card right there. He's got the uh, microphone. He's got the 40. And he's got soft goods uh shirt that goes over the uh what you got going on there the black uh short sleeve shirt so very nice set very nice assortment of accessories pretty nice set all in all super seven so uh yeah you can get yours um, at uh, certain online retailers or super seven itself uh if you're in uh san diego there's a super seven down there and i believe there's a super seven uh, somewhere in Northern California, I want to say San Francisco, but don't hold me to that. Um, but, uh, yeah, you could, uh, go ahead and, uh, do that. Another thing you could do is let me know if you like the video. What do you think about the figure? Hit me in the comment section below. Give a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't done so already. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we've got, uh, of course, more in store for you. So, uh, be tuned for that. And in order to be tuned for that, hit that notification bell down there. So that way you'll be notified for the next time I upload another video. So coming out of Brooklyn Zoo, old dirty bastard, had to say it at least one time in this video, the ruckus humming coming at you from the boogie down, the boogie down Bronx Brooklyn Zoo connection in effect. And we closing it out, y'all. Because that's how it gets done.